All right, just going to do a little video about how God is above human intelligence and human comprehension. So I'm going to show you a couple scriptures on that. First of all, I'll turn to King James Bibles to Psalms 40, verse 5. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works, which thou hast done, and thy thoughts are which are to us word. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. Uh, if I would declare and speak of them, they are no more than can they are more than can be numbered. You know, God, his thoughts are above human intelligence. His works are above human intelligence. You cannot fully understand God with your puny human carnal mind. It's not possible. God is bigger than human intelligence can comprehend him to be. Psalms 92, verse 5. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. You see, when humans try to get to the point where they think they can understand God and know what he thinks, you see, God... You know, God, his thoughts are way higher than our thoughts. His thoughts are not the same as human intelligence. Humans are, are wicked, sinful. Our bodies are corrupt. Okay, we can't comprehend things that God can do. That's why people try to under, That's why people who try to explain God or understand God, they end up becoming atheists because the human mind cannot comprehend uh, the eternal God. You know, try to explain, for example, the the uh, the fact that God has no beginning. You can't do that. The human mind just can't comprehend that. But God's thoughts are not our thoughts. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His thoughts are very deep. That's what it says in Psalms 92, verse 5. Psalms 139, verses 4 to 6. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether, or altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine, laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Very, very telling scripture right there. Same chapter, Psalms 139, jump down to verse 17 to 18. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. You know, you say, well, how does that, how does that, how can that be? Again, great is the mystery of godliness. Like it says in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. You know, the mystery of godliness is great. You cannot understand God, okay? We are given facts about God in scripture that are important, but God told us everything we need to know about him in scripture. But God is above human intelligence. He's above human comprehension. Uh, that's the thing about him. He's, he's much higher than the human brain can comprehend. And again, people who try to understand God fully, they end up becoming atheists because they think, well, it's not logical. Yeah, but your logic, but your thoughts are not the same as God's thoughts. You see, using your puny human logic to understand God is very problematic. Psalm, Psalms 145, verse 3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Very amen to that. His greatness is unsearchable. You try to search it out, you try to understand God, you cannot understand the mystery of godliness. Psalms 147 verse 5. Great is our Lord, and of great power, his understanding is infinite. You know, human understanding has limits. Human understanding has its, uh, its you know, boundaries. But God's understanding is infinite. It's unlimited. He knows everything there is to know. Uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are, are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen to that. You know? Again, God told us everything we need to, we need to know about him in scripture. Okay? But 
the human brain the human brain can only comprehend so much the human brain can only hold so much information but again what is you know like psalms 145 or 47 verse 5 says his understanding is infinite so his thoughts are not our thoughts his thoughts are higher than our thoughts so that's what people say well how does a godhead work i don't know mystery of godliness his thoughts are not our thoughts his ways are higher than our ways you're just you're a creation. You see, the creation is not on par with his creator. Just plain and simple. Uh, Job chapter five verses eight to eleven. I would seek unto God, and unto God I would commit would I commit my cause, which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number who giveth rain upon the earth, and sendeth water upon the fields, to set up on high those that be low, and that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. You know, again, it's without number. He's done marvelous things without number. It's unsearchable. You can't count what he done, what he's done, because he's above human intelligence. Job chapter 11, verses 7 to 9. Canst thou by searching by searching find out God? Canst thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? As it is high or as it is high as, as high as heaven, what canst thou do? Deeper than hell, what canst thou know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. You know, you think you can understand God? You think you can try searching out God? You can't do that with your limited human intelligence. Job thirty seven verse five. God thunders marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend. Exactly. You can't comprehend it. You cannot try to explain God with your with human words. Because the creator, again, the creator is not on par with his creation. You know, we submit to God. Like Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 says, we're made for his pleasure. You know? You try to understand God, you're going to become an atheist. Because if you're if you're not truly saved, if you're a false convert, you're going to become an atheist. Because the human brain cannot comprehend things that are spiritual all the time. Scripture tells us all we need to know. Job 36, verse 26. Behold, God is great. And we know him not, neither can the number of his years be searched out. God is from everlasting to everlasting. We can't search out, search out the number of his years. You know, again, try to comprehend the fact that he is without beginning. You can't do that. Because the human brain is just not mentally capable of understanding that or comprehending that. We believe it by faith. You know, like Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Faith is the evidence of things not seen. We walk by faith, not by sight. Like 2 so Corinthians chapter 5 says, and Job chapter 26, verse 14. Lo, these parts of his ways, but how little a portion is heard of him, but the thunder of his power, who can understand? You can't understand it. Who can understand it? Nobody can. Nobody can with our with our carnal minds. The human brain cannot comprehend that. Our mental capacity is too much for the human brain. Because again, the human brain can only hold so much information at a period of time. And we can forget stuff too. But God doesn't forget things. God's ways are not our ways. His, his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. So it's really foolish when people, people try to think they can, they can explain the creator. And try to explain and fully understand. Again, scripture tells us what we need to know. But great is the mystery of godliness. You know, it's like you're not going to understand God as long as we as long as we're in the sinful flesh. When you have the mind of Christ in heaven, okay, it will be a lot easier. But in this sinful carnal flesh that we have, it's limited. You know, the Bible tells us things that we need to know. The Bible gives us information about God. He's from everlasting to everlasting. He has no beginning. We're told what we need to know, but we're not told all the explicit details because it can't be searched out. It cannot be comprehended, like it said in those verses there. It's not. It's it's higher than our thoughts. So don't be deceived by some of these atheists out there who think, oh, it's illogical because you know you can't explain God. Uh, yes, you, you know you can't explain God because he's he's above your intelligence. Okay. Yes, you can try to explain God, but you're not going to do it very well. You're going to fail at it and probably become an atheist. 
So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.